Hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, sexually transmitted diseases uh, in men. Uh, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for uh, more videos every day uh, about the medical conditions and treatments and um, to support this channel as well. Thank you very much. Now, the sexually transmitted diseases uh, affect uh, tens of millions of people in uh, the United States and uh, other uh, uh, developed countries, uh, but the number is much higher in the underdeveloped countries. Uh, men may not realize uh, they are infected, you know, so uh, because uh, many infected men uh, have no symptoms. However, that doesn't mean that STDs are not affecting their health. Uh, not all STDs have the symptoms, but uh, when they occur in men, uh, they may include like uh, uh, pain and burning during urination, uh, a need to urinate more frequently, pain during ejaculation, or abnormal discharge from the penis. Uh, particularly colored or foul smelling discharge, uh, bumps, blisters or sores uh, on the penis and genitals. Uh, now the common uh, uh, STDs affecting the men include like uh, chlamydia or uh, genital herbs, uh, genital warts uh, and uh, human papilloma virus HPV, uh, gonorrhea, uh, HIV or um, uh, trich, you know, and, uh, uh, and these are the most common STD infections, you know. Uh, so uh, now I will start from uh, the first one and uh, in brief telling about the treatment options for each one and uh, the symptoms. Now you start from the chlamydia, you know, so the symptoms uh, if you are suffering from a chlamydia is uh, infection, the symptoms include like uh, pain when urinating, pain in the lower abdomen and penile discharge. Okay, and now most people with the chlamydia don't experience symptoms because of this uh, experts believe that uh, uh, many cases go unreported. Uh, the treatment uh, uh, is uh, with the antibiotic regime and uh, you can usually, usually recover from uh, uh, this case within a week or so, you know, after starting the medication. The next one is uh, genital herbs. Uh, if you have the uh, genital herbs infection, the symptoms include like itching and pain, uh, uh, tiny fluid filled uh, or red colored bumps uh, and ulcers that may eventually leave the uh, scabs, you know. Uh, now, uh, it's possible to spread herbs uh, even if you don't have sores or symptoms, so you need to be very careful, you know, uh, that you don't spread this to your sexual partner, you know. The treatment is antiviral medicine such as uh, 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 Ovelki, uh, Lover or other antiviral uh, medications, you know. Uh, so this way you can treat uh, the outbreaks, however no cure exists for the herbs, you know. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, genital warts and human papilloma virus. The symptoms uh, include uh, small areas of swelling around the penis, uh, cauliflower shaped warts and itching around the penis. Uh, there is uh, currently no recommended HPV test for the men. Uh, the gen genital warts are usually treated uh, with medication that's applied to the warts. Uh, however, they can also be removed surgically uh, if medication doesn't work. And the next one is gonorrhea. You know, the symptoms of the gonorrhea include like burning during urination, yellow or green discharge, and pain in the testicles. Uh, if left untreated, a gonorrhea infection can increase a person's chances of getting HIV. Uh, gonorrhea is usually treated with the regime of two medications or dual therapy. So the next thing is HIV, you know. Uh, the HIV virus, uh, uh, the symptoms include like uh, fever, rash, sore throats, swollen lymph nodes, the symptoms worsen as HIV infection progress, you know. And uh, HIV is thought to occur more frequently in men who have uh, sex with men because of uh, additional risks of infection from an anal sex. You know. HIV uh, uh, isn't curable, uh, but it can be treated by several classes of drugs that stop the virus from copying uh, itself and uh, uh, taking over uh, body cells, you know. And the next one is uh, uh, trichomoniasis, or in short, known as trick. You know, so the symptoms include uh, uh, it's rare in men, and uh, but the symptoms include like itching on the penis, a painful urination, or penile discharge. You know, 
around 20 percent of the people with the literature reinfected within three months uh, of being treated and the treatment options uh, uh, it's easy to cure and it's usually treated with one dose of antibiotics you know uh, STDs can affect uh, any man uh, who is sexually active regardless of his age race or sexual orientation however many STDs are highly preventable so uh, uh, abstinence uh, is the only uh, foolproof method to protect against STDs however by being aware of changes in your body and protecting uh, practicing safer sex you know or protective sex uh, uh, you can protect yourself and your partners uh, so consistently practicing safe, safe um, sex makes the transmission of an infection less likely you know <clears throat> Uh, STDs can be transmitted uh, through vaginal, oral, and anal sex. So it's important to pra practice safe sex uh, during all sexual activities. Condoms can be used for vaginal, oral, and anal sex. So uh, dental dams uh, or um, other barriers can be used for any type of uh, oral sex. You know, so so many people believe that uh, oral sex is risk-free. However, uh, numerous STDs can be transmitted during the oral sex, including syphilis, herpes, and gonorrhea. You know. So while well, um, uh, you need to be very careful, you know, uh, uh, when you're having the uh, sexual activities. Thank you very much. And if you need more information, please uh, uh, visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com for more information about uh, uh, medical conditions, uh, treatments, and uh, nutrition, and all the health, all the topics about the health are covered on this website. Thank you very much. Goodbye.